So I had an idea for tomorrow, uh, whether I go through with it or not is a question for really for Tao, for Tao, for how I'm feeling tonight, putting two words together that don't make sense. Um, so kind of depending on how I feel tonight, I was kind of like, well, I had the idea of like maybe my parents dropping me off in Hebden Bridge tomorrow and I walk around with, he with the dogs in Hebden Bridge. And then um, walk back to uh, home um, and do that. I think I'm going to cut across to the field because this road is always busy. I tell you, there could be an earthquake, it'll split in half and it'll still be busy. I can't go up the field, there's too many people on it. That's the thing, there could be a solar storm rendering it not drivable and you would still get people on it. I think I, just, I, think I can hear a car. I think I, something else I heard, well not heard, but seen, is that those prime energy bottles that are just going off the shelves quicker than... Uh, I don't know really a comparison but um yeah just let's go back up payment now that I can uh there's that the sh they're just flying off the shelves like they're saying like oh two pound a bottle and I'm like that's more of a reasonable price to pay for a bottle of just fluid I know you drink it but it's fluid drinkable fluid not 20 pound or 10 or 50 quid and I'm like the the, 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 play, the whole world's gone mad and I, I understand KSI and Logan Paul are very popular on the internet for them to like come together to make an energy drink made it just go all over kind of um, it's kind of pun intended but it's in its prime Hence, it's called Prime. And I did see him, I think it was Morrison's actually. I don't know if it was our branch, but another branch they were selling it, and then within about five minutes it was gone. Because people of the teenage era were drinking it like it was the holy water. And I'm like, even if it weren't a nice flavour, they were still buying it to then like do what other shops are doing selling it off for 10, 20, even more and I'm like it's just a drink honestly it's just a drink when people are saying like oh, I'm willing to pay a tenner or 20 pound for like that and I'm like I'm not it's dumb it's really dumb <laughs> and the thing is the other thing that also something else that is dumb is it's nice and sunny but I'm, I'm kind of like in that thought, oh it's nice and sunny, I'm walking to work, I'm doing a, like a shift, but then I'm like, it's not warm. Because I went out this morning for a walk and it said five degrees, but feels like two. And I'm like, for like the last few, like a week or so, it's been like 10 degrees. And I'm like, you kind of get used to that. So that when it just plummets to like two. I need to, there we go, it's better. It, it's like, whoa. So let's do the whole thing with tomorrow. If I feel up for doing the walk, I'll walk from Hebden, round Hebden, and back home. And I know for a fact my battery on my phone doesn't really work that well anymore. Uh, it just doesn't. I mean, when, you, when you're a vlogger and you film every day, you're doing little bits and you're doing like long vlogs as well and you're charging it up in between like train journeys as well you kind of you kind of are like well it's obvious that you're gonna keep charging it up and it's gonna need charging up all the time so reluctantly being into the traveling it's gonna slowly become shit so nice just to be out though. I set off a little bit earlier because I thought mate, a little bit achy in my legs and yesterday more afternoon it started to get busy 
but because I was in the pot wash area, I didn't see it really. I just saw the plates coming in and I'm wiping them, doing that and everything. And as I went out to go get the other ones and pushed and pushed them back to go put them away, it just rapidly emptied. So within, for like one hour, it was really busy and then it just really, really emptied. And we have a new manager as well. Who, the thing is, so funnily enough, when I was at Halifax McDonald's, this manager that we've got now was not a manager when I was there, but kind of helped train support and everything when I was at Halifax. And then I think that person did leave. And then I left to go to Salt Table. Then he's now with us. So they're kind of like, oh, it's kind of strange having a manager to be working under for cafe. And I'm like, well, when I was at McDonald's, I had like, what, 10, 12 different managers. And you didn't know who was going to be with who, that's the thing. So I was working, going blind, really. But all I thought to myself was fantastic. There's not it's not just me in the cafe there's another bloke with me oh my god I, I was not I was about to cross over I can't can I now dare I cross now right clear it's clear it's clear it's clear whoa it's weird it's clear <laughs> So yep, yeah, lovely blue sky, sunny weather. Only problem is, it is cold. I'm gonna film that way now because I might start, I might just walk that way now. That's what made me jump yesterday. It was windy and all that was flapping around. And it, well, scared the shit out of me basically. God, nearly dropped my phone then. Right, I'm gonna walk to work now. Just enjoy walking to work in the sun. It's not as cold as it was this morning. But when the sun comes out, you don't really feel the cold as much, but when it's when it's gone, it just is depressing. Honestly. <laughs> so it's nice to have it out. So I'm just gonna oh God, didn't look. Thanks for watching for now and uh, goodbye.